Let's see how I upgraded this old parallel port. 3 axis, TB6560, based controller, to use Bluetooth. First we solder some headers to an Arduino Nano and then load the GRBL 1.1 firmware. Please note if you're using a Nano clone and it does not show up in Windows download the drivers for the CH341 serial chip. Many manufacturers use this cheap component to keep their costs low. Something else you should look out for. If you're having difficulties uploading to your Nano clone from the Arduino IDE then try navigating to Tools then processor, and select ATmega328P, old bootloader. Once GRBL was loaded, we mapped the appropriate pins from the Nano to the parallel port connector. The pin mappings as well as links to the resources used for this project are in the description below. We used the Arduino Nano wing shield and a D sub DB25 female header breakout board terminal block connector to connect the Arduino, running GRBL 1.1 to the TB6560 controller. We did not connect the P, W, M, spindle control output from the Arduino to the controller. The controller has an output header for a relay, on-off control, so in the future we will add a large capacitor and a couple power MOSFETs to the output of the Buck Boost 12 to 36 volt module to control the spindle with pulse width modulation. I bought this CNC as a kit back in 2013, and at that time they sold for around 500 to 700 US dollars. These kits came with the TB6560 controller. They were very powerful but had one major drawback. They used the parallel port to interface with the PC this was fine back in the day, and Mach 3 was usually the CNC software of choice. However today the parallel port is an obsolete interface and is not included on modern computer motherboards or laptops. Additionally these controllers required very tight timings from the port which are no longer supported under Windows 64-bit operating systems. This left many owners of the TB6560 controller stranded and forcing them to either get a new controller with new drivers or just ditch their CNC machines. The latter happened to me and I had my CNC in storage for a few years. At one point in time it was even exposed to the elements but I still held on to it. I attached the connector to the controller, but I had to do some restoration work on the CNC. The Cat5 cables I used to make the connections to the stepper motors was exposed to the weather, and the insulation started to break down. If I ran it with those old wires, the output of the stepper driver could short out and damage the driver. So I replaced the old Cat5 wires with new Cat5 wire, LOL or at least wire that was not exposed to the weather. Previously these weatherproof telecom connectors were used to join the stepper motor wires. However now, we will solder the wires and use heat shrink tubing. You need to be very careful when connecting motors to the TB6560 controller. They are notorious for blowing up, so exercise caution when powering them. The A and B coils of the motor for the respective axes were connected to the driver with the color code shown. Once connected, the cables were fastened to the motors and frame using heavy-duty tie straps.
Once the Arduino Nano was connected and tested on the computer the serial communication of the USB cable was replaced with the Bluetooth module. Here is the CNC doing a simple wireless test run over Bluetooth on cardstock. Thanks for watching, and remember to like, comment and subscribe.